Hello. I just got a request from subscriber Michael and he wanted to know if I could show him how to convert 500 milliliters per minute into gallons per day. And so I thought it was an opportunity to do a quick YouTube post. But we're going to follow the format shown in most course WM1 on unit dimensional analysis. In that course, we lay out the steps to unit dimensional analysis, the first step being to start with what you know. In this particular case, Michael knows that he has a flow rate of 500 milliliters per minute. Next thing we want to do is turn that dimension into a fraction by dividing by 1. In this case, the fraction already is, uh, the value already is in a fractional form, so we really don't need to do this step, but we'll show you how we incorporate that into the calculation in just a moment. The next thing we need to do is multiply by a conversion factor. That's a fraction equal to 1. And in this case, we're actually going to use three different conversion factors to make the transition that Michael needs to make. So here's our challenge. Convert 500 milliliters per minute into gallons per day. So here's how we're going to do it using dimensional analysis. We start with what we know. We have a flow rate of 500 milliliters per minute. And then we apply to this, since it already is in fractional form, we are going to apply to this three conversion factors. The first is 1440 minutes per day, the total number of minutes in a day. Remember, each conversion factor is a fraction that is equal to 1. So the numerator of 1440 minutes is equal to the denominator of one day. The next conversion factor converts us out of milliliters and into liters. There is one liter in 1,000 milliliters. And the final conversion factor gets us out of the metric units of volume, liters, and into the English units of volume, gallons. So let's use our rule of cancellation to take out like terms in the numerator and the denominator. Starting with the milliliters in our original measurement, we see them cancel out with the milliliters here. Then we see the minutes cancel out with the minutes in our original measurement. We also see the liters in the numerator and the denominator. So the only units that do not cancel out are gallons per day, the units that we want in our final answer. So now it is calculator time. 500 times 1440 divided by 1000 divided by 3.785 will equal 190 gallons per day. So I hope that helped you, Michael. And if uh, you ever need help with dimensional analysis, please take Most Course WM1. You'll find it at www.mostwatertraining.com. Thanks.